everybody. It's the Knitting Posse. We're back. I'm Kate. I'm Lorian. <laughs> Lorian, Kim, we already Hello. started. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a while, so um, we're, we're probably not going to be as smooth as we usually are. <laughs> So um, thank you to all of our viewers um, for being patient and waiting for us. Um, sometimes life just has different uh, plans than us podcasting together. And that is what has happened over the past month. I know you've seen our Instagram, but Lorian um, had appendicitis and then some complications and um, there's just been a lot going on. So, but here we are, we're back and we're happy to be here. And let's uh, get right into it. Um, Lorian, what are you wearing? Yes, I wanna thank everybody who did go on the Instagram and see you know, what was going on and, and wrote nice notes or direct messages and well wishes. And it was really heartwarming and encouraging. So thank you. Um, knitting production definitely slowed in the last month, but I'm delighted to share that somehow I finished a sweater. Um, I didn't even remember that I knit it and I got back from my trips to the hospital and this I don't even know what you can see because it's such a dark color oh, there, that's chocolate there brown. some of you may remember oh there's some of the pattern texture yeah. right here um that I and it's not finished finished but it's <laughs> done knitting um that I had this beautiful cabled cardigan that was the the, the sleeves went about three inches past my hands and my fingertips. And it was just the wrong pairing of project to yarn. Um, the superwash, it was all superwash. I think it's a Zara um, bulky of some sort in a beautiful chocolate brown. And this is, I took it all out. Um, I've never done that, completely frogged a sweater that I'd worn as, a, as its finished object. Um, and decided when I saw this pattern come out that this was meant to be. This is the Hamilton Raglan uh, by Raglan Pullover by Beth McDonald Stone. Um, so it's basically recycled yarn from another sweater. I did, her sleeves are different. I tapered the sleeves down um, towards the wrist. I would not recommend doing it the way I did. I decreased in my two stitches before the stitch that was sort of linked the center stitch or the two stitches that come together and my uh, ribbing because the sleeves are knit in a twisted rib got off. I would just be combined. I would, if I were recommending or doing it again, I would just knit the last two stitches of the decrease rounds together in whatever made sense for the pattern. Did you um, it's that on your Ravelry page, Lorian? I don't know if I've updated that yet. It's really just off the blocking wires. Well, please um, do that I, before our uh, knit along in the fall. Yes, <laughs> I will. I will get that done. Um, I also made some other modifications. So I started with the smallest size. It's a you start neck down and add the turtleneck. Um, I started with the smallest size, but I wanted it wider by the time I got to the body. I knew the superwash would block out. And you guys saw an in progress picture and you could see it's a lot roomier. Um, and I did add stitches probably to get to the second size for the body. Um, but I'm really happy with it. My almost 16 year old daughter's already told me she would wear this. Oh. So I fully expect it's going to be swiped from my closet. It's <laughs> bulky weight, super wash. So I knew it would grow quite a bit in blocking. And, um, and I'm really pleased with it. Looks great. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. That that one's definitely on my list, but yeah, I'm saving that. I have yarn for it yeah. already. Yeah. 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 I'm still deciding okay. if I'm happy with the turtleneck thickness. Yeah. But I think, Double. I think it'll be okay. It's like a fold Double. over. Yeah. You fold yeah. it over and the front, the, the second half is knit in a larger size needle. Yeah. I don't want to get me. too I'm much away. I'm going to a crew neck. <laughs> mm. V-neck, Kate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right. Well, so, I'm yeah. wearing my wearing? sweater number 12. Yay. Yep. All done, and it's by uh, my favorite things and knit and knitting for olive yarn. I love this sweater. It's it's a it's a good one. I don't know if you could. It's there, beautiful. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's comfortable. It's lightweight, even though it's with the mohair and a fingering. Um, like it's a ch kind of a chilly, damp day here in Connecticut, but. I'm, I'm very comfortable with on. And I just have a, a little, a small little cami underneath 
and it's the mohair is not annoying at all. So I will definitely use knitting for olive again, that yarn. So, but love this sweater. I might make it again without stripes because I just ah. like the way it fits. And I, th I think the pattern's, you know, kind of cool looking. Yeah. So okay. put it on the list. One more thing for the list. There you go. There you mm -hmm. go. And where did you get your yarn, Kim? You ordered. Um, good question. Oh, right on the Knitting for Olive website. Okay. Yep. So some um, Canadian um, places have it. I, I'm pretty sure Knit uh, Espostri Espostri Co does. Co yeah, they just started carrying it. Yeah, I think so. I think, I think it's getting wider distribution, so you may not have to order it from Denmark right. anymore or yeah. whatever. <laughs> yeah, it came right away, so it was easy breezy, and yeah. it, I'm Looks happy great. with their yarn. Yeah, right. thank you. Okay, Laura. All right, I'm not wearing anything, but I'm holding something. Ah. Uh. <laughs> um, this is the awesome, uh, oh, I thought, Kim, when you reached, I thought you were going to grab yours. <laughs> Um, this is the awesome um, Knitting Fuel It's Enormous um, mug that I got, and I actually, I can't remember, was that Christmas? Yeah. A couple so. years ago, I ordered it for everyone, and it's from Espastrico. I know they have something similar. I don't think it's quite as big, but I love this, and sometimes it gets stolen in my house, and I have to claw it back, but <laughs> that's what I'm I holding today. It's a great mug. It's a I great love mug. It. it is a good mug. Um, I am wearing my old school sweater. I had finished it last time we had podcast, but I wasn't wearing it. Um, this is by Vera Velmaki. Um, it is knit in the cashmere people Kashgora sport yarn in the pine color. And I love it. <laughs> it's um, stunning. The yarn is so soft. Um, it, it, it has a halo to it, there, um, but, it, but it's not itchy at all. I also only have a tank on underneath and I, I'm fine. Um, the pattern to me was not intuitive. I had a couple of start stops with it. It went into timeout a couple of times, but I'm so glad that I persisted and kept going because it's just, I, I love it. I love everything about it. So, um, mm highly recommend the yarn and highly recommend the pattern when you have the brain power to, to do it. <laughs> I saw that sweater live on Kate and this picture is not doing it justice. It's, uh, it's so beautiful. And that yarn is, the color is, has like hints of blue in it. It looks great. Mm -hmm. I said to Kate, if I, if I just saw that sweater, I don't know if I'd want it, but seeing it live, it's yeah. stunning. It's yeah. stunning. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Great well, color for you too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Um, okay, let's move on to FOs. Lorian, you're up. Right. Uh, somehow I managed to finish a few things um, in the last month, about yeah. a month since our last podcast. So let's start with the one everybody's seen, if you've seen my um, Instagram feed. So I have one on the blocker and one to show. These are my appendix socks. Um, <laughs> that's what I call them. They're knit, knit picks Felici. Um, this is this colorway is called Rustic Cabin. And one of them got knit while I was in the hospital and one got knit in between my hospital visits. And then I wore them in my third hospital visit <laughs> all over the hospital. Um, and uh, I'm pleased with how they came out. They are my own kind of standby recipe of toe up, uh, one and a half size needle, 48 stitches, afterthought cut in heel using the Kirby Werby method. I think about an inch and a half of, yeah, that's twisted rib, twisted rib at the top. Um, so I, I really loved this color. I had bought a bunch of caliche. I don't know, end of year, I don't know, something like that. And that was the one I reserved for me. Earlier, I had knit this pair of shorties for my daughter. This is the colorway Time Traveler. This is also Knit Picks Felici. And uh, basically the same recipe. I'm actually pretty excited because for those of you who follow Very Pink Knits, she's doing a bit of an exploration of different toes and heels. I think she's doing everything toe up also. I think so, she's doing some cuff down. I think she's doing lots of different combinations. Oh, I think. Cool. So I'd like to learn some new toes. Yeah. 
personally. Yeah. I, I, there's nothing wrong with them. And for me, I do with the self-striping, I feel like the striping is what you I want to see. So I'm happy to do more of a vanilla process, but proof that there are two. How there's, long do you do the cuff on those shorties, Lauren? It looks really short. It's very short. These are no show, basically, okay. like no show socks. So they're they're not even, they're barely shorties. I think I do about six, six rounds six or so, if that. Um, so, and my daughter was supposed to be like part of the deal. I thought she might knit them, but she was at least weaving in the end and she's given up on that as well. So I had to weave those in. All right. And then I, on our last podcast, I showed that I had done a pair of Bernie knits. These are Vermont's finest is the name of the pattern. And to prove to you that this is the first pair, this is the second pair, they're all here. I thought these were for a friend and I'm not sure she's, she sort of still wants them. So I may end up with an extra pair. Um, the last thing, oh, this is gonna be kind of hard to show. So part in the hair, this is, went out walking in the rain this morning. Um, I finished a hat, this is called the Beckett hat. Oh, it's cute. And it's got a pom-pom on it. Um, I knit this, I bought this on our, showed this as an acquisition on our last podcast. I knit this in uh, cashmere six over 28 from Pasquale. It's organic cashmere, I think. And I had just loved this pattern. I really just thought having a white hat was my cup of tea. And then this, I think is not vegan. Um, I did a little visit, my, my daughter, husband, and I did a trip over to Port Jeff. Uh, there's a ferry we can take from Bridgeport, Connecticut, near us, uh, that goes over to Port Jefferson on Long Island, and we visited the Knitting Cove, and I bought um, you girls a souvenir and got a souvenir for myself, and they had these really just yummy small pom-poms, so I think it works well with this hat. Cute. It's in the light gray. I don't like the size of that pom pom. Yeah, yeah, it's not obnoxious. I have yeah. some that are big and obnoxious. And is the cashmere really soft, Lorian? The yarn? You know, it is. I think it's still going to soften further with wear. I did not yeah. block this. I have a pretty small head. Mm -hmm. So I just, um, it'll stretch with wear. Yeah. The one thing is, my dog loves to put his face in my woolens bin um when the coat closet is open and that is one that I think I'm gonna have to keep in a plastic bag because <laughs> I'll be so so upset if yeah. he puts white cashmere in his mouth <laughs> or in his um, stomach yeah I think that's everything yep that's Good. it great Kim FOs so my sweater is yeah. the big FO and then um I knit a hat winter walk hat by Jody Wait, is it Jody? Tracy Miller, Tracy. the grocery Tracy. girl, grocery girls. Mm -hmm. And I used the yarn that Lorianne gave me for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it was Barnyard Knits mm -hmm. and the colorway was Misfit. And um, I'd just been staring at this, Lorianne, the a skein in my bag. And I'm like, I just want to knit it up and see what it ends up looking like. I love it. Um, it's really awesome. pretty. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, these were one of a kind, so that's why she called them all misfits, but they're really just one yeah. of a kind colors. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm happy that I just whipped that up, and like I said, I needed a um, an instant gratification because I've been working on the Parker cardigan. Also, <laughs> I am. I have just one more panel to do. This panel is ah. done. This is the front panel. I know it's just like a big blanket. You can't tell. Um, so. I have one more panel to do, and then I can start the process of sewing it together. But <laughs> not looking forward to that, but I think it'll, I know it will be worth it in the end. So that's the Parker Cardigan by Julie Hoover. And I use Pearl Soho Goodwill on that. So nice. that's what I've been knitting. Okay, Laura. Uh, I only have one FO. Um, so, um, Knit Lovewell was doing a knit along and in the beginning I was like oh I definitely want to do it and then I just didn't get to it and then kind of at the last minute I've been in a little bit of a knitting funk I would call it and um I don't I I, I think I knit this in about a week but it's the Orealis or Aurelis I'm not sure it's a very sort of classic Jen Steingast most of hers are top down. Occasionally she does a bottom up, but um, beautiful, 
beautiful patterning, which this was just so, so fun to knit. Um, the white is Harrisville sheer. It was folded in my closet. I haven't worn this because I finished it, blocked it and sewed in the ends on like April 10th or 11th. And it was like the last day of the Cal. And um, I posted it and I actually won. I got, um, you know, she just did a random drawing and um, I won a couple skeins of yarn, which I'll show when that arrives. But nice. um, this is Harrisville sheer, which is, I love. And it called for one of the spin cycles, but um, I, I didn't, I thought it was too thin for this because this is, this yarn really kind of blooms. And so I actually found um, it's Feeder Brook, Entropy DK Feeder Book is the company. Um, she has a great website and she's got these lots and lots of colors of a really true DK um, sort of, I don't know what you call it, variegated um, yarn. But sadly, I haven't worn it. And I think this afternoon or tomorrow, I'm putting all my woolens in storage for the summer because it's so warm. So I'll be happy when I pull that out in the fall. Yeah. Yeah, it will be a brand new sweater for you in the fall. That's exciting. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. I love the um, colors in the yoke. Me too. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, they're really pretty. Yeah. It's going to be like a, it's just going to be, I'm, I'm excited to wear it, but it is way too hot to wear it. It, it changed <laughs> colors like perfectly. <laughs> yeah, and I've always wanted to knit with like a spin cycle type yarn and I yeah. never have. Yeah. It was really fun. It it's really nice because you don't have ends to weave in from different colors. <laughs> Correct. Correct. Yeah. No. And it was a fun. She's a great designer. I love her stuff. Good. Okay. Um, I have a lot of FOs. They're mostly little things, but um, my first FO is I did a test knit hat for Making Stories magazine. Mm -hmm. um, it is was in the stone wool, um, and I love the wool. It's like a beige color. Let me see. Uh, tephra, T-E-P-H-R-A is what they call this color. Um, I finished the hat. I photographed the hat. I made a project page for the hat, and then I frogged the hat. <laughs> so this is the <laughs> hat. <laughs> um, it just wasn't deep enough. Um, it didn't cover my ears and for a warm wool hat, that's what I need for when I'm out walking the dog. And so I love the yarn and I didn't want it to go to waste. So um, that's my first FO. <laughs> an FO. It's yeah. An FO. It's, yeah, exactly. Um, my second FO is another pair of the Orem slippers. Um, these are, are cute. These are for me. Um, this is my my, fourth, my fourth pair. I love them. It's such a fun, quick pattern to do. The first three were all gift knits, and um, my friends and family loved them. Um, I knit mine in Biroa yarn. That's the green and the blue. And then the beige is um, Yoth Yarns uh, Father. And it, it's really kind of farmy yarn, which is good for these because it gives the sole, you, you knit using three strands together for the sole. It's a nice thick sole and you do it on pretty small needles so that um, it's a tight gauge. So um, hopefully the last and that is FO number two. FO number three is my first brioche project. <laughs> so um, this is brioche bandana cowl by Lavanya Patricella. Um, she posted on Instagram that she was thinking about doing a knit along um, with this pattern. And it comes in like every single weight you can imagine. So I was kind of in between projects and I thought, you know what? I took the class, uh, the brioche class. I learned how to do it and I haven't made a project yet. So I'm like, this is perfect timing. So I used, um, 
yarn that I had in my stash, one skein of the Petite Wool by We Are Knitters in the spotted blue colorway. And then the speckled is Lola Bean yarn in the colorway, A City So Nice, they named it twice. Oh yeah. And that was her colorway, I believe from, was it 2020 or 19? Did, did we have a 2020? 2019. Whatever the last um, Vogue Knitting Live was. 2020? Oh, we went in 2020. 2020. Yeah, so yeah. it was 2020. So I ordered it in, um, in when we got home I didn't get it at the show but I love it and I like it with the blue I think it looks really good with the blue really pretty um okay so, how was yeah. it was I it actually hard? I liked it um it, it's bulky yarn both of these are bulky yarns and it it wasn't so bad it was it was pretty easy actually um, and I did mess up or like drop a couple of stitches and I was able to figure out how to give them their cuffs back to put it all back together. So I was pretty proud of myself for that. That's great. Okay, that's that's very hard. hard. That's what I hear. That's the hardest yeah. part. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, but once you yeah. find a rhythm with it, yes. it kind of goes, right? Yes. Yeah. So it, was, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. And I will do how it How long again. did that take you to make? This didn't take me long because it's bulky. I don't remember size 11 needles. So this took me, I think, like two nights to do. Yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah. And it was good because you had to do brioche in the round and then you had to switch over to doing it back and forth, which is different than doing it in the round. So um, so I liked that part of it. Cool. So that was another FO. Another FO my second pair of socks. I don't have sock blockers like Lorian. So um, I used the same kind of recipe that I used for my first pair of socks um, by Eureka Oki. Um, the first pair that I knit was, uh, it was a, a sock, knit a sock in five day challenge. And it was really fun. It was free. She gave you all the instructions that you needed to knit the socks and she is running it again. So if you're interested, um, you can find the link uh, through her Instagram profile. And her Instagram is Eureka, Y-O-R-I-K-O dot Oki, O-K-I. And we will put it in the show notes below just so, um, so you can see it. This one, I ran out of steam and so I made them into shorties. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this yarn is by Sunday Yarn, S-U-N-D-A-E. Um, it's their Sunday Yarn sock yarn, and it's a color called Caramel Macchiato. Um, but as I was knitting it, all I could think of was the Tiger King. <laughs> <laughs> so these are my Tiger King socks and my Tiger King shorties. And I've worn them, and I actually really like them. In five days? The what? Did you do it in five days? Um, the taller socks I did actually, yeah. these I think took a little bit longer, um, because I wasn't just knitting on these, but I did make adjustments. Like I adjusted the heel and I didn't make it as deep as the first one, because when I wear the other ones, it tends to slip down a little bit in the back. These don't do that because I've actually worn them. Um, so I like them. Um, I don't think I'm a sock knitter. It's fine, but I'm not going to be a person that has socks on my needles. Like at all times, not for me. Um, my next FO was a, oh, I forgot. This is um, this is a picture, my picture of my Orems. And um, in the pattern, you can see I was doing oh. a lot today. <laughs> so I just had my animal in my picture with my socks. Um, my next FO was a gift for a friend. Um, it was her birthday and we were going out that night. And so <laughs> I whipped up a pair of chunky cable mitts. Um, it's, they're actually called quick cabled mitts. It's a pattern by Robbie Laughlin. And I did these in the We Are Knitters The Wool in the spotted gray colorway. And I don't have them because I gifted them that night. So they took me probably two and a half hours um, to whip up. Um, so that was a, a good pattern. And then my last FO is behind me. 
it is the Felix cardigan. I don't know if you can see that there. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, this was actually a pretty quick knit also. This I knit up in, I have the thing. Um, it's the Pearl Soho worsted twist in the blue raindrop colorway. Um, really pretty. It's really soft. Um, it's kind of like oversized. It's a little like bulky in here, but it'll be like cozy for next winter. Again, I won't be wearing it anymore this year. Um, I need to get buttons and I need to also sew in the ends, but the knitting is done like Lorian said. So I counted as an FO and it was a pretty quick knit. It was kind of, it was yarn that I had in my stash. I think I had bought it to make rich a sweater and never did. And I was kind of in a little bit of a knitting funk. And so I went to my stash and I looked around and the Felix had been in my queue for a while. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do it. Um, mm -hmm. I'm glad I did. I'm really happy with it. You whipped um, that one out really fast. I did. I did. Um, it was fun. It was fun. And actually, um, so the, the part that took the longest is it's all a sewn um, bind off, which is sort of like a tubular bind. It's like a Kitchener bind off. Mm -hmm. And it's all along the bottom. It's the long the button bands. It's along uh -huh. here. It's everywhere. Um, so it's worsted, right? Worsted weight? It's worsted. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's Pearl Soho worsted twist yarn. Okay. Um, so there was a lot of knit on, pearl off, pearl on, knit off, knit <laughs> on, pearl off, pearl on, knit off. <laughs> Good girl, you remember. I do. I do. Um, so that's it. That's it for my FOs. Um, we are moving on. Let's see. Whips. Lorian, whips. Well, I have one whip. Okay. I've been working on it um, for some time. It's rolling a bit on the bottom here. Maybe you can see just the little edge. Yeah. And this is Rowan felted tweed. It's supposed to be a DK, but it is so fine. It really knits like a, um, like a fingering. And maybe it feels like it's taking forever because I'm knitting the front and back in separate pieces. As tempted as I was, Laura, to join them when I could seam them together. I heard your voice saying, no, it'll have better structure <laughs> if I kept them separate. So I kept them separate and beyond that decision point. Um, I love this finished, I know I'm gonna love the finished piece. Um, it's a V-neck sweater with sleeves and the, it's very boring. It's very boring. It is not, a, for me, it is, is not really a fun knit. Um, the, the yarn has grown on me. This is all, I have two teeny balls left of the first two balls, and then I have five more to go. Um, What's the pattern called? It's called Adelphi. It's by Martin Story for Rowan. Uh, and um, I, I think I'm, I'm sort of resisting starting something else because I really just want to push this thing along. But I'm also kind of thinking, Oh, is this all I have? So we'll see. We'll see. And now I'm even more tempted when I show you my acquisitions, what showed up. <laughs> retail therapy has been huge. There you go. Well, it helps you heal. That's right. Exactly. That's right. Stops the pain. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So. Kim, whips. Okay. I did mention my Parker card again. It's yep. not done. So it's technically a, a whip still. And I'm, I ordered... <laughs> Dinah and Pam, they're killing me. Every time they do something, I watch their podcast. I'm like, get the credit card. <laughs> so, <laughs> I ordered the kit from her, the um, Hillsdale hat by Michael Vladman. And um, I just, I know they're making that sweater on their podcast, the couple. The couple that looks yeah. yeah. But um, I just, I love this hat and it comes with enough yardage that you could do the reverse. Um, and I'm almost done. I'm just, I'll be done after the podcast. Yeah, um, it's cute. It's super soft wool. It's by Blue Sky Fibers and it's got alpaca and silk and wool. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's really squishy and, 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 and cozy. So yeah. You look good wearing that with your sweater. Yeah. Right. I'm all yeah. Right. <laughs> so coordinated. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And for those of you who don't know, Dinah and Pam are from the knitting place. Yeah. I was okay. just gonna, yep. Okay. This, it came in a cute little bag. 
Um, yeah, Dinah and Pam came from the Knitting Place and she does have kits um, online. Um, I don't, she might be out of them by now, but I'm sure if you call, she'll be getting more kits in. And uh, yeah, I'm not, and next time they're on Instagram, I'm not gonna look because <laughs> it's killing me. I'm like, I think I need that hat. Yeah, yeah I do. So, and it's the knitting place ny.com. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. That's it. For, okay. for, what were we talking about? Whips. Whips. <laughs> Laura. All right. I have two whips. Ooh. One of the things that I realized, and when Lorianne was just talking, I think what I'm, I think what my knitting funk is about is the type of things that I actually wear are the things that are going to be really boring to knit <laughs> and the things that are fun to knit are fun to knit but then I sort of look at them and I don't really wear them and I think I'm struggling with that balance but anyway um, I had um, actually a kit a, a, a gradient kit that I got from the knitting place for a different shawl that I decided I wouldn't wear um, but I had um, it's three colors and this is Paint the Town by Annie Baker Designs and the the yarn is Moondrake um, Merino Linen and Ooh. it's luscious and oh, I actually think that even though it's Merino the, there's enough linen and it's sort of light enough that it could be like a cool evening summer shawl Mm -hmm. um, and it's just been a little therapeutic. It's got enough going on, but it's, you know, pretty straightforward. I'm just at, at transitioning to the third yeah. color now, but you know, um, I like yeah, I like it a lot and I'm kind of motivated to push through. And then in a moment of whatever, at some point I had ordered, um, a lot of people are knitting the half and half triangles wrap from mm -hmm. Pearl Soho. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I, I'd see them and I'd be like, oh my God, I love that. I love the color combinations or whatever. And I or had ordered yarn for it. And then I just like, like had a talk with myself <laughs> and said, <laughs> you will not wear that because they're huge. And um, so I decided, um, there's a theme here. This was the paint the town shawl, but now I'm looking at the Ooh. paint, paint pale pullover because it looks like it was dipped in ah, so the yarn that I got for the half and half triangles wrap which I when I was honest with myself um, I knew I wouldn't use I I got this beautiful very pale pink and a navy and this yarn is really nice and a lot of people say that it um, wears well and doesn't pill so <laughs> this is how far I am it's You're a almost bottom up yeah. what you're almost done. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the problem is I will love this sweater, but it's going to be painful to knit. And so I don't know what to do. I really Laura, don't know I to feel do. this. I feel the same exact yeah. way. I, I like plain so plastic sweaters. Yeah. And so they're boring to knit. Doesn't it up for me, you know? Yeah. Like, well, I do like stripes. Like I was looking at, has, has, I think I told you guys the scout shawl, shawl that everyone like was kind of all over the place. It's, um, who's it by Florence Sperling and it's this beautiful long slightly triangular like tapered scarf that is um she said she designed it to look like um, a patchwork quilt thing and I wanted to knit that so badly I spent hours like looking at colors and I was like I want to knit that but I won't wear it and it's beautiful but I just don't know that I would wear it and I'm really would you wear it if it were just two colors would I what Oh. I think it's multiple colors, but I could picture I it being like more you, wearable in like in the colors you're knitting that sweater or yeah. you know, like black That's and white different. or black and I a white. I think what head. I was drawn to was all the color and the di di the different patterns. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful, mm -hmm. yes. Oh yeah. And if you look at the projects on Ravelry, there's some really, really pretty ones. It's a great um, stash buster because I think it's like five different colors mm -hmm. of... Um, fingering and so who doesn't have some extra skeins of fingering hanging out and it's not full yeah I mean it's just it's just cool and I just think that I was attracted to yeah I love that one knitting it but not I just don't think it's something that I would gravitate to so anyway, I asked because I feel like I would like it would be a more enjoyable knit that I would wear 
if it were just in like black and white or and yeah. I you know I've done that I took a I took a moonstruck was right pattern that was in three colors that I couldn't get three colors to in that I loved but I loved it into so. yeah that's a good point but Laura, I mean, what's yeah. the name of that pattern again that was really pretty which one the, the one that you're not going to do because you know you won't wear it scout no scout. the triangle one. Oh, scout yeah the, that oh like the that just fair said. aisle yeah yeah it's um yeah. by florence sperling and it's absolutely stunningly beautiful and i still when i see it i'm like i want to knit one of those but i really don't think i would wear it i've been and doing the same thing Laura. Me. Mm -hmm. i've been doing the same thing like every time okay. i see it i'm like oh and then i'm like I, i'm not gonna I'm not gonna I have that. a whole drawer of shawls up there and I never wear any of them. Me either, me either. So the only thing I forgot to mention about this is, and I hope I'm not getting in trouble by talking about this, it's not available for sale anymore, the pattern. Oh. And I had kind of fallen in love with it. And so I think on the Ravelry page or on the Pearl Soho page that shows this, they're like, for any question, you know, it's no longer available for any questions, click here. And I emailed it. And she sent me a copy of the pattern, like in like, mm -hmm. I mean, she like responded immediately. So I don't know if she's willing to do that for everyone, but I would just love that. It's cute. It and it's, um, it's, um, it's a very kind of light fingering and it's got linen in it. So I thought it would be like, and I won't finish it for this spring, but I thought it would be like a great spring, fall, um, lightweight sweater. It has, um, it's hard to tell, but it's got these really nice um, saddle shoulders and- oh just it's just really really classic and i really like it um but it's going to be a beast to knit laura what is the yarn so you're we'll using the pearl soho what oh yeah linen quill they linen have a fingering yeah. linen quill. i think they have a worst it as well um the fingering i would say is a pretty lightweight um you know it's i'm knitting on a size three and it's Ooh. i don't know if i can show you but it's yeah it's um Oh yeah. It, it's going to make a nice, nice comfortable, yeah. light, airy, nice, um, fabric. So <laughs> I will like it when I finish it, I think, but. Oh, you will. Yeah. That's yeah. this. <laughs> take right. Yeah. But I mean, see, I actually think I'd have more fun. I know you had challenges with that, it but it's fun. more engaging <laughs> and, and <laughs> you know, just knitting in the round, you know, knit, yeah. knit, 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 yeah. knit, knit. No, I know what you mean. Yeah. It's kind of boring. But, but those are the things that I really honestly want to wear and I think I will wear. So right. I have to get over it. All right. So people, please give Laura some good TV shows that she can binge while she's knitting this. <laughs> uh, well, it's baseball season and I'm a Yankees fan and mm. baseball is perfect knitting there television because you, yeah. you really do not have to look at the screen all that much. True. I listen to the announcers that I love on Yes and it's perfect. So maybe I will crank through it because, you, you know, know, it's easy. Yeah. So it's the season, but I, I will take any show recommendations, but they can't have subtitles. They no. can't have intricate plots because, <laughs> you know, I need to be able to knit during it. Right. So. There's so many shows like that that have subtitles. I'm like, no, don't even tell me. I, know. I, I know. can't. I never watch television ever without knitting. Yeah. I can't imagine just sitting. Me too. Me yeah. too. Without, Thank you. without my hands busy. <laughs> okay. Um, sorry, I do not have any. But, but I, I'm sorry. What, 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 Laura? No, no, no. I said I'm sorry. It took so long for two oh, whips. No, no. You did. Um, I have zero whips. Mm -hmm. So you could, you took my time. Um, because I, I literally yep. just finished this one last night. Um, okay. Yeah. Acquisitions. Laurieann. Here we go. Yep. So I visited, as I said earlier, can you guys see that? Knitting, yep. the knitting yep. pole. Mm -hmm. shop which is in port jefferson new york across the long island sound from us and that's where i got my great pom-pom they also picked up something for you guys so i picked up uh, from pretty warm designs mm. a set of i want to say dog style but that's not what it's style dog love stitch markers i think stitch markers are a great souvenir so when i go somewhere i love to get Stitch markers. So that's one heart with a pawn. You guys are gonna have to duke it out for like who gets what. This one says I love dogs. Um okay. If we have any Snoopy lovers, there's a Snoopy. 
<laughs> you may have to fight over Snoopy. Um, ugh, it's hard to show. There's a bone. Oh, cute. cute. Bone. There's a dog paw outline. Hmm. It's hard to show all these. Oh, I've had it down before. Here we go. Just an oh, outline of a doggy cute. paw. Cute. There's the bone. There's a doggy bowl. We all have dogs, so I thought yeah. this was a cute yeah. co compilation. Anyway, or I can I just surprise you all because I have some other things too. from <laughs> last time that we recorded. So I think that's all of them. Um, so I thought that was really cute. I also grabbed, which gave me for no charge because I just thought this was awesome, actually. And I wish I'd gotten them from for you guys. It's a Long Island um, Yarn Crawl 2020. And that was one of the last like crawls that was in person before lockdown. And then I also grabbed a Knitting Cove uh, stitch marker. It's hard to see. Um, but I was I was gonna keep those and give you guys the doggy one. So, oh, yeah. so you can duke it out over Snoopy. <laughs> All right. Thanks. So long. I again a friend, our friend Pat, Pat, who's a knitter satchel, gifted this to me. Um, oh, it looks pink. It's a light gray. I think it's color two of Wolf Oak Tin. Mm. And I think I had shared this last time that I'd gotten two skeins of black. So these two are going to go together in a sweater to be made. I'm gonna make the elephant promenade and Lisa of uh, Stop Job and Knit, that was already in my queue. Before I saw you knitting you, you and your finished one. We <laughs> have very similar taste. Promenade? Yeah, it's elephant cool. Elephant promenade, okay. yeah. I've always liked um, that sweater. By Annie Lupton, that's a designer she tests for a lot. Anyway, that was already in my queue. And so um, my fr our friend Pat and I swap birthday gifts. And so I'm not gonna show you, she sent me a bunch of yarn. She's very specific about the yarn she likes. I'm going to knit her birthday gift. She gave me yarn for my birthday. Nice. Um, so that's what the wolf oak tinned is going towards. The other thing she gave me, oh, pretty. Mm -hmm. These are mini skeins from Playful Day. Tara always makes my heart sing. Um, not sure what these are gonna become. They look kind of orange on my screen, but they're purples and pinks and a couple of, one bright. Uh, we have a plan, Tara and I. I'm waiting for Hohe's long summer cardigan to come out, the pattern. And then I am going to knit it in maybe these mini skeins, maybe another set of mini skeins that I bought that she's holding on to, and one of her colors. It's definite gonna happen. Uh, but the pattern is slow, but there's the elephant oh. ball nudge sweater. Yes. Oh. I'm going to do it in long sleeves though. Cute. Awesome. Yep. It'll mostly be the gray with Cute. the elephants in black. And wool folk. That's going to feel good. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's got, it's knit on another small needle. So that's going to have to be like a fall project because I don't think I have patience to do another one, um, of those. Um, I also, this was retail therapy definitely in the hospital so I saw the I saw these came out through uh Indie Untangled and we have a set that I got us I think at Connecticut Sheep and Wool Laura was with me she made little succulents these I'm keeping <laughs> little succulent <laughs> stitch markers aren't they just oh, so cute. cute and then she also sent me this which I, so it came with a little letter ah. and my name on it. Oh my God, so gosh. Isn't that so cute? And it just has a little letter inside that basically says, thank you. Um, but how cute wow. is that? She must have really good vision to work with the small, <laughs> small things. So, Sorry, again, I'm a little delayed, but. Yeah, oh, that's the sweater. I am oh, so yeah. knitting that. Isn't that pretty? Um, if anybody wants to knit it with me, I'm going to use the mini skeins yeah. color selection to be determined right to stripe it so I'm going to do different color stripes at least that's my plan um I have to look at all the yardage which I don't know what that is but um okay I also have been following Lindsay of now this has been here a while I purchased this a while ago she Lindsay of five borough yarns and she did a Lisa Frank update, which I don't even, 
I guess Lisa Frank was during the 80s. I don't know. It was a lot of like unicorns and bright colors. And I just really wanted to support her. I wanted to try her yarn. This is called Unicorn Hair. Um, this color, it's a DK, uh, yeah, classic DK, 200 yards approximately for 100. So it's just going to go in my stash. I don't have a plan for it. It could make a fun hat. It could be fun in some color work. Um, but I really, I really wanted to see her yarn and try it out and support Lindsay. I love her um, logo. Yeah, and her bags are cute too. Like she's got, that's yeah. the bag she sent it in. Yeah. So, um, with some cute stickers on the bag. Uh, I also, this is a winning, so <laughs> if you are not watching um, Knit Style, uh, Knit Style, yeah, Yarns podcast, um, it's a couple, they live, they live kind of near us, but like in New York, so north in New York, I'm not going to say exactly where, but near Poughkeepsie, um, and um, Sharon, who dyes yarn and knits, and her husband, Rich, joins her. I don't think he knits, but he kind of knows quite a bit about knitting. Um, I won these off of her. Oh, she gives it. away a knit crate each time she has a new one, and um, she drew my name from the comments on her, uh, on her YouTube, um, and I think it came with a knit crate pen, too. This is all called, um, it's a knit crate yarn called Vita Lana and it's ambient worsted and it's a 50 grams, 100 yards of three different colors. And I think those are really practical. I don't know what, maybe a hat eventually. Um, I also received a gift from Kate, <laughs> which is Queensland Collection Perth. It is, I think it's a sock yarn. It's I think, yep, it's 80-20. Um, but I feel like it's a rain, it's called Rainbow Reef. Um, and that was, that's really fun. It was just the happiest well yarn they had when you were in the hospital. It was the what? <laughs> yummiest? It was the happiest yarn the happiest. they had when you were in the hospital. So. Absolutely. I don't know how long the color repeats are, but what I really think is this will look great in like color work mitts. Ooh. Just like in Laura's sweater that she yeah. showed where you have yeah. color changes. Yeah. And I have a couple of mitts in mind that use fingering Ooh. either with the main color white probably or like a light gray and I think this would be super fun so I'm holding on to it for that it I don't know it's very soft it feels too, almost too nice for socks but they'd probably feel really good too uh let's see okay then you guys have probably you've seen this this is a Chelsea Yarns duet Hold on to your seats. It's mohair. <laughs> and what she calls cobblestone, which is her slub. And I was just going to get use this set that I got at the holidays. It's a little hard to see. He, she calls it caramel apple. It was my favorite color from her 2019 advent, which I got. And I was going to make a hat. She did a beret. Uh, Christina designed a beret. And I just thought, oh, I need a beret. I probably just watched Emily in Paris. Um, <laughs> just thought I needed a beret. And then I said to myself, I don't need another hat, but these are my colors and these would work up so beautiful in either a love note or a ranunculus. Yeah. So I just needed another one yeah. and I had a gift card. So this just arrived today. I'm going to wind it and hope that the colors come out kind of similar. I think there's some, some darkness in here. Um, and I'm going to knit a ranunculus with it. Nice. Um, and yes, it is mohair and slub. Two yarns I don't really like, but I think it's going to be awesome. <laughs> last, last thing is that it's just a favorite thing of mine, so I wanted to share it. It is not yarn. Um, it's that's my dog. <laughs> it's really hard to find anything with like apricot or red poodles on them, and um, it has three different colors or that it goes on. The company is called Paper Russells. I don't know if you can see that. Mm -hmm. Yep. The Russells. Yep. Um, and this month, which by the time this launches will be over, but I just wanted to, I just, I love their note cards. I needed more. They were running a special and they gave away um, a set of their, I don't know, farm. Oh, is that up? Oh, that's upside down. Oh, pretty. Um, yeah. Note cards. And I just, I really like this one. How cute is that? Oh, oh that's cute. Wilbur. 
like Wilbur. Yeah. Um, they gave away a set of their um, farm or other note cards as well. So they're all blank. I just I just wanted to share that because I really like their products. Those are pretty. And they have so many breeds. If you're a dog person, they, I'm sure they have each of each of your breeds as well um, in different colors and um, they have a whole series and they're green. Um, it's printed on paper that's 100% recycled. So nice. Good stuff. Nice. Yes. Great. You did pretty good this month, huh? Yes, you did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I ordered an advent calendar and a Hanukkah. <laughs> Woo! Great. So, yeah. Wait, but Great. Carolyn's advent calendar hasn't even come out yet. Oh, I know. I need to get that one too. <laughs> and I ordered a couple of mystery skeins from Teeny Button Studio. She was having a $15 skein sale. So I ordered some minis and a mystery by accident, but I just wanted the minis. Anyway, yes, I have acquired plenty, much more yarn than I can knit with. Yeah. I'm out. We know you'll get through it. Yeah. Yes. So, all right, Kim. Yeah, I have a few acquisitions also. Um, um, I did purchase two skeins of this Quince Phoebe um, in this pretty, my daughter picked out the Juno color. And she's having me knit her favorite hat uh, for two special girls in her life. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, and yeah, the, I love this yarn. The Quince Phoebe is a great yarn to knit with. So happy to, and I just bought it on the Quince website. Um, then Jay and I went up to New Preston, Connecticut on Saturday just for a drive and happened to pass star hollow yarns <laughs> um, drive by. You go they in. are open you can go inside but Ooh. jay was like sitting in the car so i was like uh you know yeah. so i i found this was another hat that i had made before yep yeah. and um i gave it away as a gift but now i want to keep it for myself so um i picked that up um I, if I had more time, I, I would have liked to gone through that store a little and take my time in there, but we'll have yeah, to take I'll a, trip. a day trip with you. Yeah, yeah <laughs> because we found a really cute restaurant up in New Preston too, Ooh. different than where you and I went, Laura. Oh, okay. So I love that one. Yeah. Really yummy. Um, oh, so yes, good. let's take a trip up there together and really. Anywhere. I'll go anywhere. <laughs> I'm so ready to get out of the house. And then um, a dear friend sent me a gift card for uh, Church Mouse Yarns. She She's a, a needle pointer, so she knew the website, and she just sent me this gift card. And Kate had come over that day, and I was just telling her, I'm like, I'm not going to knit any summer things. I'm just going to just stay with sweaters, blah, 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 blah. Well, this gift card lasted about five minutes on my counter. <laughs> <laughs> I went on the church mass site and I found this sideways tea. Oh, I love that. It's just, again, Laura, another boring classic sweater. I know, but I love their patterns because they are that very classic. I know. I I'm going to wear that. Yeah. And uh, they showed it with um, this merino linen. Mm. In the house. So. Is that um, pink, Kim? It is pink, actually. Oh. <laughs> It'll match my sunburn over the summer. <laughs> <laughs> um, it looks like it's an easy knit. So, and it looks like it's a wearable. This is my kind of sweater, not fitted. Just throw it over. So, yes, I am going to knit a summer sweater. Nice. Summer nice. Spring. So, and it's a really pretty pink. It's got just That's different. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah different little shades of pink in it. So what else? Um, and then I had bought the kit from uh, the knitting place, the hat that I showed you earlier. So yeah, you would have thought I was in the hospital too, but <laughs> I felt bad for Lorianne. I'm like, you know what? I'm yeah. <laughs> I to help her feel better. Sympathy so, purchases. <laughs> exactly. Sympathy break retail. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Laura. Vendors. The only uh, recent acquisition for me was that um, Pearl Soho um, linen quill that I showed you in the blue. Ah, okay. Other than that, I, I've actually been a very, very good girl. You said you weren't going to do it. So, um, yeah. Yeah, I've been careful. I have been knitting from my stash a lot. And, you know, I will buy yarn. I know I will. I will never say I won't. But, yeah, I really have been stash busting. Good for girls that'll live you know. <laughs> okay, so I have two acquisitions. Um, my first one was a kind of like Kim's for the moment kind of thing. 
I bought some Morehouse Farm <laughs> Merino. Um, the Connecticut Sheep and Wool Festival was last weekend. Did last they week? have it? Um, no, online. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, did um, I miss it? <laughs> and um, Morehouse uh, on their Instagram had showed these hats. Um, Oh, so cute. It's mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, it's called the Crofter's Cap. And I'm going to show you the. And that's. Oh, cool. cute. So again, it's supposed to be Fair Isle with different colors, but they showed it with their um, natural color. And then mm. this color, this is called Grape Juice. <laughs> so pretty yeah be fun. yeah so I'm gonna do that I always love a good hat mm -hmm. okay and then this next acquisition I can't even to borrow from Tracy I can't even I had this the <laughs> last time we podcasted and I didn't show it because I wanted to get one of these done so I just did one just before this podcast I, I all right are you ready Oh. <laughs> I can't even, like, it's just I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with it you should or, make a sweater for rich <laughs> because I got the whole gang oh my gosh <laughs> what, what are they is it a blanket it's, called, so it's lion brand off the hook magic so you finger knit them you're going to be a hot mess someday when you're a grandmother. I can tell you that right now. My kids aren't the age where they're having kids. They're only 20. Uh, my friends aren't having kids. Like, but I just, I had to. Like, I just couldn't not buy them. And I bought two sets just in case, like, I wanted to make, like, a blanket or something for some, like, I don't know who I'm going to give them to. But I just, I love Sesame Street. And it just, I couldn't. I couldn't not get them. <laughs> it's it's in honor of their 50th birthday. Yeah, right. right? Mm -hmm. So you could make uh -huh. you could make like a pillow with them. That they showed that. But then you could also like kind of quilt them. So mm -hmm. make a blanket. Know, like to make a cute little blanket. But it's just it's so Lion Brand, if you sign up for their website, they're always having sales. So I think I got them for like 35% off or something. And they're not that expensive to start with. And if you follow the directions, like it's not too hard to, to, to do them. This took me, I think, less than an hour to, to do it. And um, I just, I can't even like. <laughs> you had to. I, I know, but you know what? Like, look at the smile on your face. It I know. It brought joy yeah. to you. It made me happy. That's why I did it. I'm like, yeah, that, there's no other reason necessary. I need these in my life. And like the whole gang is here. Like the Oscar, like everybody. Elmo. Hey, I don't think I've ever seen you this happy. I know, really. We need cashmere. I, did, I mean, I know. It's her cashmere. To. I just had to. It's not cashmere, but you know what? It makes me just as happy as cashmere. And it is really like soft and squishy. Is it like a chenille or no? It's like a chenille. Okay. Um, and I've used this kind of yarn before. Like I have blankets in my living room made out of this kind of yarn. Mm -hmm. um, and you can wash it and dry it and it still looks perfectly brand new. So... I just, I couldn't, I couldn't resist. I couldn't that's resist. That's awesome. So, Did I you say that's, finger knit it? You finger knit it. Yeah. So I basically, know how to do that. all the instructions are right in here. So basically what you do is you unravel, you take the band off and there's like a weird color at the beginning. So, so you know where to start and mm. you count out however many loops. I think it's like 26 loops or something. And then you fold the yarn back across itself and the next 21 loops, you pull through the first 21 loops and you leave a little tail. And then you keep going back and forth across 21 loops, pulling oh. the loops through. And wow. when you get to the top, you pull a loop through and then you bind off like mm -hmm. normally. Like yeah. a pot holder. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's funny that you say that because um, modern daily knitting was hyping 
the looms and the pot yeah. holders. And I was seriously thinking about doing that just because I have been in this funk and not really knowing what I want to do. And oh I my thought, God, get those just, Sesame characters, Laura. <laughs> I don't think it would make me as happy as it makes you. <laughs> Why do I think this is going to be like player. the most popular thing of all the things we showed and talked about today? This is going to be the winner. Spread the joy, Kate. I did. I I had to. I mean, look at their big smiles. Like they're just so like so. Big Bird is just eyes, and Grover, of course, has a Wait, little so nose. Are the colors placed so that it automatically happens? Yeah. Oh my god. You don't gosh. have to do no. anything. You don't do it. all the. There's no intarsia. All the colors are in there. Yeah. So see, this is where you would start and you count yep. out the 26 loops for the beginning and then you go back and forth across 21 loops. And you can't worry about gauge because like it's <laughs> No, so <laughs> I actually- swatch. Did you swatch? <laughs> I did not, I don't have to. Um, but I did make sure like when I was pulling it through my row before wasn't like twist, like the knit stitches weren't twisted. And I only knew that because I'm a knitter. Um, I think it would be hard for a kid to do this, like a, a very good, like, uh, what do you call it when you're good dexterity. with your dexterity? Yeah, if a kid has very good dexterity, they could do it. And they have some really cute, they don't just have Sesame Street, they have like hearts and peace signs. And like, Lori and I could see Nora, like- I, I can tell, this is where I'm ho I'm going next. Making some of these this is the next thing. Oh, she, it also like an instant gratification, right? These do not oh, take yeah. that long to do. No, no, no. I'm gonna have to pick that up for my nephews. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So spread the love, everyone. <laughs> well done, Kate, well done. So fun. Fun. Oh, again, it's Lion Brand, Off the Hook Magic. And like I said, they have all different patterns um, and shapes. And I think they have a heart and a peace sign, a, maybe a unicorn, I think. Um, oh, all right. um, how was your arthritis after that? Well, I'm just thinking about doing it, so not, I don't want my hands to hurt. It didn't hurt at all. Uh, it, it's because okay. you're not really like you're, it's really you're just not pinching. Table. As it's a, large yeah. movements, not and small. you're just looping okay. it through. Um, yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. they, didn't hurt. they hurt after my socks, but not after this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so um, cute. Yeah. So that's, um, that's all I have, it, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> On that note. <laughs> On that note. Yeah. I don't know how we could top that. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for our next episode will be brought to you by the letters B and Q and Big Bird. <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, awesome. All right, everybody. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching. Um, questions and comments below, please. We love to read them. We love to see them. We love to hear from you. Um, please like and subscribe to our channel. And um, we'll see you again, hopefully in less time than it took us to get this video out. <laughs> Perfect answer. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys.